So what's going on with everybody? Did you see the shooting today? Did anybody see the shooting today? I just saw that they caught the kid that was oh, they eight, caught eight, him? 18 years old. Oh, it was 18. Okay. So the guy's in, t oh, thank you, Matt, here, just keep one. It, uh, so this is good. I mean, in Texas, if you're 18, you can just carry a gun. You can go buy a gun and carry it. Isn't that great? Yeah. That's like that guy right up there now. I'm not gonna wear that mask. Lord told me I didn't need to. <laughs> so Lord told me I needed a gun. Now I can't catch COVID. I can't catch it. The Lord's got drenched blood on me, but I need a gun because I might be able to catch a thief. I mean, come on. It's, it, it's just crazy. So this 18 year old kid, it has a gun. He shoots four people. Are they all still alive? Um, I'm not sure. I just saw the, the last notification. Last count, really. they were all alive. You know, like when I was in the car, there were four injuries, three students. He got in an altercation with a student. So he just shoots three students and a teacher mm -hmm. in high school. It's unbelievable. And no, and the Congress won't, you know, I can't stand the four, Republicans anymore. Four people injured and the shooting, uh, the, the suspect is in custody. And they got the, see, they were also worried because he got in his car and drove off. It's probably a pickup truck with a rifle on the back with the Trump sticker. He got in the car and drove off. So they're worried about them, him going out and hurting somebody else, yeah. you know? Oh, my God. One of the four is in critical condition. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, imagine your kids in that high school and you hear on the news there's a shooting. You're you're just right away, you're, literally, you just can't handle it anymore. Yeah. Timothy George Simpkins is his name. Who? The, the shooter? shooter? Oh, well, don't give him any attention. Just call him Tim. Oh, do you guys notice my glasses? I may have to start wearing my glasses <laughs> because got, that light is so bright. got a big smudge on it. Are they smudged? Are they? On the on your right side. Oh, oh, right here. Yeah. Well, anyway, these are my new Dan Dutch glasses. So what happens is I bought these glasses and he fixed the lenses in them for me so that they're prescription. Oh, that's nice. Now, aren't they nice? Yeah, but he did really give me nice. one of those things to cleanse it with. But of course, I don't have that here right now because I wouldn't be that organized. Let's <laughs> see if I have it. No, I don't. Ooh. Anyway, aren't these fabulous? And then these, you know, you got to go to Dan Dutch if you're in LA or go online, D-E-U-T-C-H. He is the best of everything on the glasses thing. <laughs> so meanwhile, did you guys know there was a game between the New York Yankees and the uh, Boston Red Sox? Yes. Did you know that, James? I didn't know that. I know Jason did not know that. Did you know that, Jason? That there was a game between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox? Mm -hmm. Is that the woman that got this married to the model? <laughs> Is that the woman that got this married to the model? That's, That's football. football. That's Tom Brady. He didn't know Tom Brady. Uh, did you know about that? No. Did you know? Okay, so the only two here that knew were me and you. I only knew because Roy had it on. Yeah. I, I wouldn't pee. In fact, I closed the door when he had it on. It was so loud. Everybody was cheering. Well, apparently the Red Sox won. Yes. Apparently they're big rivals. They are. And the Red Sox are from Boston. And then, of course, the New York Yankees. So these people are diehard fans. Yeah. They fly from all over the place to go get those seats and those tickets and put those hats on. And Oh my God, I mean, it's just too much. So I feel bad for New York, but I'm happy for Boston. Did you, anyway. Did you see a few weeks, uh, it's been probably been a month or so ago, where they had the baseball game in the cornfield from the Field of Dreams Oh, movie. I heard about it. I didn't follow and it. They actually did like good. a ball game out oh, there did? and did it in the cornfield. And Kevin Costner probably threw off the first pitch. He, was the, he, the, he announced or did <laughs> oh, something did? like that. Yeah, he did. Let's he came and up. everything. Yeah, it was see funny. how in tune I am with everything? <laughs> so meanwhile, I have two dogs with casts on their legs, and they are milking it oh, because you have to carry them up and down the stairs. Yeah. So they go sit at the stairs. And then I carry them up to the stairs. And then they sit at the foot of the bed. And then put them on the bed. Now, Dottie has figured out she can jump off the bed. Mm -hmm. She just can't get on the bed. Mm -hmm. But that's a big help because I used to have to get up when she started and pick her up and put her on the floor. So the two dogs with the cast. Wolf got everything done. We've spent all that money at the vet, and now the only thing left to do is this one's teeth, which I'm going to get get done in LA oh, yeah. because I found out that they don't put them under. They don't put them under anesthesia for the little dogs there. You had a lot of people comment on that last they week because like you brought it, it up about the did. thing. They were giving you other options oh, where yeah? they don't have to put them under. Also, the Humane Society does it for free. And the Humane Society cleans your dog's teeth for yeah, free? You got, I learned all kinds of do stuff. Do they put it out and put them under, though? No, they don't. And they do it. They use a different type of technique and stuff with it. And you can go there and have it done. I'd be better off taking the dogs down there and giving them a donation. Yeah. And I'd still save $2,000. Yes, And probably. their teeth would be 
be clean. Well, thank you very much. You see, what we have such a bright audience. <laughs> you got, and you had a lot of people willing to pick you up in Texas and take you. Oh, you did! I did. <laughs> you had, oh you had a lot of drivers willing to oh, pick you up, ridiculous. take you wherever you did, and they were going to wear a mask. Oh, that's funny! How cute. So now, did everybody get their flu shot? Alex, did you get a flu shot? Oh yeah. Did you get a flu shot? Not you got to get one. Did you get one, James? I've had every shot in this. Did you get yours yet, Jason? The flu shot. I got to get my flu shot this week. And I told RJ, it's mandatory for him to get the flu shot to go to the school. And he was just livid, not because he had to get the flu shot. He's livid that they won't mandate the, vac the COVID vaccine, but then they mandate <laughs> the flu, flu shot. shot. His mind can't compute it. Yeah. He's like, I can't figure it out. How do they, or what is their thinking? That's not normal. That doesn't make any sense at all. How can they make you get a flu shot, but they can't make you get a COVID shot? And I have to wear my mask at the gym because these people don't want to get a COVID shot, but I have to get a flu shot. He gets a flu shot every year anyway. I, it's just the idea that I can't compute it either. I have to be honest with you. How do you compute that? You, I mean, I know the flu can be deadly and people do die from it, but it's not as bad as the COVID. No. But that just goes to show you how political that it really it is. is. You yeah. know that pillow is upside down on that sofa. Right, the one that down. says, I can yeah. deal with a lot, but I can't deal with stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the pillow's upside down. We're stupid for upside having down. the pillow upside down on the sofa. It's like me I yelling at the there. university, telling them there's a bunch of idiots. Yeah, and I'm like the only one that noticed it, so the rest of you are stupid. Well, stupid. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, so I worked out... Um, well, you know, I'm so tired of this Landry thing dominating the news. I do think they should find him, and I hope they find him, and I hope they find out what happened, and I feel horrible beyond. I literally lost my breath when I found out that girl was dead. It's the, I can't, and she was so cute. But there are so many other people that are missing too, and they're not giving them any attention, and that has just dominated the news at a time mm -hmm. when we need the COVID out there, we need people knowing about the debt ceiling that the Republicans are saying. The Republicans ran up $8 trillion in debt. Yeah, well, Trump And now there. they won't <laughs> sign and approve the debt ceiling to be erased, and at the same time, not only will they not sign it, they're going to filibuster it so that we can't get it done. Mm -hmm. So that would throw the economy worldwide into a tailspin. But their thinking is it's going to reflect bad on Biden. It will help him win the midterms. So to hell with the economy. Yeah. It's awful. What is wrong with these people who operates like that? They do not negotiate in good faith, and they don't operate in good faith. And there lies the problem. And until they can become a party of civility and nonviolence and operate in good faith, you can't support any of them because they'll just go and get behind and line up Mitch McConnell and that Kevin Quackadoo. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. And, you know, two very prominent Republicans have changed one change to a Democrat he's going to run in Texas for Lieutenant Governor Dowd mm -hmm. and the other one uh, Mullen Mullen Evan Mullen or something like that he's going to run as an independent in Utah mm -hmm. so I'm just hoping they start weeding out these people that don't want to just run the government I mean you know you can disagree with things but you don't get to pull out your assault weapons and go shoot down people or go jump in a building and kill cops or you don't get to go crazy and go to the school board meetings and tear the mask off of people and yell and scream. Do you disagree? You have civil disobedience. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it is. But these people are just thugs and crazy on the streets and the one in the Congress are just obstructionists. They're mm -hmm. like anything we can do to make Biden fail, anything we can do to make the economy fail. And the more people that die from COVID, the better for us. Yeah. What is wrong saw, with that mentality? I mean, I, I, I saw the shark last night on TV talking. The who? Truck. truck. Mm. You know, they always say the Jaws went out the to sea. The He's coming back to the, the beach. The farmer to kill. guy. You know what his flags are? I'll say now, are you ready to take me back yet? That's what they all say. Oh, like, yeah. Do you want me back? <laughs> you want Tell me, me back. you love me. Tell me you love me. I'm narcissist. I need the attention. Oh Tell God. me you love me. Oh, my God. <laughs> and now Stephanie Grisham's book. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. You know, so many people like, like Anna Navarro, I love her commentary. It's very common sense, you know, fair. She's yeah, fair. She's, fair. she's a big 
Republican, but she cannot deal with all these new fake Republicans. Trumpicans. Trumpicans. And so, you know, she was going, I just can't stand the girl because I don't think, you know, anybody that worked in the White House and, and enabled it and wrote out those press things and covered for him should be able now to come out and tell a book and do a tell-all. Mm -hmm. But I will say this, if you listen to her, I don't think she's lying about a damn thing. And she's coming <laughs> clean about everything. And the, the story she's telling is pretty bad inside that White House. Yep. But anyway, next, uh, so Jason scheduled all my Pilates classes for women in Los Angeles because in Los Angeles, you have to be vaccinated, have a test, or wear a mask. And I think now it's vaccinated. I don't think the test is even adequate anymore. And by the way, California has the least COVID infections in the entire country of all the states. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they're leaning with science. And then they had the oil spill. I almost started crying when I saw those little birds and fish washing up on shore dead from the oil. I wanted to go get them all and wash them down and try to find like a swimming pool or somewhere to put them to till they could survive it and get back in the water. Oh, it's so horrible. And you know what happened is some, tr some big ship put down an anchor and they dragged it and it, and it broke a pipe. Mm -hmm. Well, you see, this is why you shouldn't be drilling mm -hmm. off the shores mm -hmm. of California and Florida. Uh, anywhere, or anywhere, anywhere. But around you the shouldn't US. be. And the other thing was, I saw this morning that they mm -hmm. found out about it or they knew there was a leak and then they didn't do anything about it for like hours and hours and hours and hours and before the, and it got worse. So they said that, and, and then I saw in the news last night, they were showing pods of like dolphins and whales oh, just swimming me. through the it's oil. It's just killing me. Oh, my God. And they don't know which direction to go. They no. can't see. They, don't, they know. don't know, like, go that way. You get out of it. Yeah. They're just in a maze. It's so heartbreaking. Yeah, really you know, sad. I will say Gavin Newsom, people cannot like him all they want. But I will tell you, he gave the land back to the people that yeah. it was stolen from, the, the, black the black family. The black family. And he uh, is mandating school lunches for all the kids with no chemicals in them. They have to be healthy foods. He has, he's gotten the COVID thing down to less than 1%. He's gotten the homeless off the streets in Venice and Santa Monica for the most part. I mean, he's doing a good job. If people don't like him, you know, I mean, I know the tax are high in California, but he's not wasting the money, you know? And the reason the taxes are high is because all those fires, they have to pay for all those fires. The federal government wasn't giving them money under Trump. Right. Even though they were federal properties, the state was having to cover all the firefighters and the trucks and all of that, and that, that bled their money. And I mean, if you're gonna have a federal property, the federal government should help fund it, and they weren't doing it. And that's right. another reason that they, they were running out of money and the taxes were getting high. But I will tell you, he is doing a good job. People may not see it, but I watch it in detail, and every decision he makes is like for the betterment of the people. And he doesn't have to do that. His wife is super rich, just like Beto O'Rourke's wife is super rich. They don't have to do that. And they're not making any money off the government or their jobs. And his wife is a beautiful blonde. He's gorgeous. She's got all that money. They're the governor and the first lady. I mean, maybe people are just jealous of him. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Anyway, he's running. Got, he's run, isn't Beto running for governor? Too? He, no, he hasn't, he hasn't he was, announced yet. He was going but to. this Matthew Dowd that's running for lieutenant government was George Bush's right hand right. man. I remember and that. he's saying, listen, it's not a matter of Republicans and Democrats. It's a matter of democracy, democracy right now. and no democracy. We have to all support the Democrats as the only functioning party. Yeah. And a lot of these Republicans have come over. However, for every one of the Republicans that come over, two or three rats come out of the out of the fields with their guns that have never voted before in their life and their t-shirts and their tattoos and there's yelling and screaming and all that and register to vote for the insurrection. Yeah. So it's so. gonna be an all out battle we're gonna have to do. I don't know, it's awful. Meanwhile, I gave you guys a product to test. Okay, so we have this product that, I mean, we've been working on it for a long time. This woman's a scientist. She's been doing this her whole life. She's got the hole in the earth product. She's promised it to me and we've been testing it and testing it. Now, James and everyone here is gonna test it, but uh, supposedly gets rid of scars, bruises, psoriasis, in, in, uh, eczema, eczema, and, <laughs> and brown spots. Yeah. Now let's see if it works. We've yeah. been trying forever. And I, I <laughs> think I'm telling you, cause I had the score on my forehead right here and I've been putting it on there, but it, I have to get in the mirror to look, but I'm, I'm hoping it works. Yeah. Let's see, meanwhile. Okay, so listen, I read this tweet and uh, I just liked it. 
It reminded me of someone I know. You guys may be able to figure out who. Yeah. Imagine choosing someone you don't know at all over someone you've known in an, an extended amount of time. What a miscalculation. Does anybody come to mind? I won't say it. <laughs> Ah, well, another, oh, Jason, you're going to kill me. There's another little Muslim kid begging me for money <laughs> for school, and I didn't reply. I didn't reply. He says, ma'am, please help me. And you know what? I'm starting to think it's the same kid with a different profile because <laughs> he says, ma'am, M A. Apostrophe M, and that's what that other kid said. So maybe you were right. Maybe they're hustling me. I can't, I've got to stop paying for people's stuff. It's just terrible. Oh, what else? People um, are saying hello to you. Hi. You're good today. Cheryl Harrison says she got her booster, and next is a flu shot. Oh, and you know, I, I see your, you, they say you can get them at the same time. Yeah. But I'm not, I wouldn't do that. She didn't do it well, either, I, I see. I'm still trying to recover from a booster and it's been two weeks oh my god don't say I that i cannot get the cough to go away oh uh, like, well that may not be from that either but that's what i, I had it from the um, it when i had the it. the first two yeah and then it went away and then i got the third, third booster and now it, it may came not back. be from that so we don't may know not, we may not be it may not be but i'm still and glad i got the booster of course and then t hamilton said he, they love Gavin and jennifer and he could become president one day which oh is why god. the gop is attacking him like they did hillary Can you imagine the class and style that they would bring to the White House, they would be the new JFK, Jacqueline Kennedy. But he, he's never going to be elected because they're going to paint him as a left-wing, la-la so land guy. However, California's the largest state in the country, and he's managed it better than all the other states. It, it's the third biggest economy in the world, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and the, uh, something like that yeah. in the top three or four. And in New York, where you have, like, they're now cracking down. And they're cracking down on everything, and they're starting to come down. Mm -hmm. So they can complain about all these liberal people, but the, the COVID rates are going down. And in these red states, they're going up. And I figure that if a New York, who used to be a liberal, who now pretends to be conservative guy, the former guy, can win, why couldn't Gavin Newsom? Mm -hmm. I love him. I'd get behind him. I think he's just fabulous. I mean, you won't believe all the things he's doing. for Every day I read something else he's doing for the homeless or something else he's doing in the Food, oh, he, he's, he set up some uh, more uh, food courts, or what do you call food them? Food banks. Food banks, you know, so whatever. I just think he's doing a great job. So that's me. So, oh, someone tweeted this. I like it, too. How sad it must be, believing that scientists, scholars, historians, economi uh, economists, and journalists have devoted their entire lives to deceiving you, while a reality <laughs> TV star with decades of fraud has exhaustively documented lying, is, who is exhaustively documented as a liar, is your only beacon of truth and honesty. <laughs> I mean, people are so clever on Twitter. That was from Aunt Crow. <laughs> Crabby. I don't know if she is, but she doesn't sound very crabby to me. Uh, meanwhile, did I tell you about Freda and the toaster oven? <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Jason. I go in the house and it smells like there's a fire. And I look in there and she every day she has two plantains. You know those plantains? Yeah. I don't know what they're called. They're in banana. They're, they're like a banana. They're like a banana, the, the, the Spanish ones, like the South American right. big plantains. And she cooks two every day, one for her and one for the other housekeeper. And they put them in the toaster oven, they leave them on. Well, she didn't turn the toaster oven off. And so she told me she runs in and checks on it every 10 or 15 minutes. And when it's done, she turns it off. And I said, Freda, all you have to do is put the timer on. There's a 10 second timer, a 20 second timer, a 30 second timer. She never knew in all these years there's a timer on the toaster oven. She did not know that. She just turned it on. She had no idea there was a timer. So she didn't have to run down the stairs and check the toaster oven every 10 minutes. Just turn it on for 15 minutes and then it'll go off. And if you want to turn it on again, turn it on. She never knew that. How can you be 70 years old and use a toaster oven every day of your life, because we never use the real oven, and not know there's a timer on it? And then when I showed and it went ding. She goes, oh, ding, it's off. The light oh. bulb went on. And she just got so excited, you know, that she's got this, oh, my God. And then she ran around and she started talking about it. Oh, I'm just like, oh, my God. They wanted to afraid about one of, of Sonia's toaster ovens. Yeah, right. I love Sonia. She never got her toaster ever going as far as I know. But she didn't. Whatever. And uh, so am I the only one who walks by the house every day and I see the three dogs' beds are all falling apart? It's been outside. I'm like... 
Paul, you never notice those beds are falling apart. Omar, you never notice those beds. Freda, did you notice the dog's beds are literally on the floor? They've fallen apart. You know, the, the she ones was like, yeah, up. I slept there yes. last week. <laughs> Yeah, I, was, I slept there because I was hungry waiting for lunch. You know, they're the, ones, closer. they're the ones with the four legs with the nylon on them. Yeah. Well, the nylon's already on the ground and they're torn. It's like no one noticed. So now I'm like, Paul, go throw them all away and get online and get somebody to get online and order some more. And, you know, they. I mean, how long do you expect them to last in Florida with the humidity and the rain? I mean, they're not going to last no. more than a year or two. They've been there. They're like literally rotting and they're sitting right. Everybody. Even, Roy, did you notice the dog beds are falling apart? What dog beds? What RJ, dogs? did you know the dog beds are falling apart? I don't live here anymore. Nobody notices it but me. I just am like, I'm the only like aware person in this whole house. I think I might be. Oh my God, I think baby's more aware than they are. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, so, oh, you know what else we're testing? Jason, I need you to follow up. I'm getting this shave cream and aftershave samples made because I've had a lot of men like Bill and a few other guys ask me, why don't you have a shave cream? What do you think? Well, I've told you. I use the old formula face wash that yeah. we still have a little bit of in a couple of tubes laying around. Yeah. Every time I shave, I put that on right after and it is like the best thing ever. It's, it's, it doesn't, wait, I don't get ingrown hairs. Do you wash it off or you leave it on? I, I, I shave in the shower. So I put it on and I do it after I shaved then I wash my face with the water and then I put that on and it just soothes it. But you it leave it on there. It, I leave it on for because a few it's, minutes. Oh, and then you wash it and off. And then I wash it yeah, off. But, it's it, a wash. but what it does is, is it, it makes my, it, 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 it helps with razor burn. No. I don't feel the razor burn and I also don't get any ingrown hairs. And I've had that issue most of my life with ingrown hairs. Well, and you know, I Jason, product, I uh, reached out to the one guy we should get Sandy to also see what she could drum up in her lab. Oh yeah. my God. If we could do that, well, that I'm wash as like a it. balm, it would be like an aftershave balm. Yeah, it would be great. I was thinking if we did um, the shave, like a kit, mm -hmm. you know, the shave kit. Yeah, like a dop yeah, kit. Yeah, that would be good. So yeah. let, let's have something else to do. We don't have enough to do. Yeah. Uh, and my cell phone, where's my cell phone? Are you working on it, Jason? Yeah. My cell phone started heating up. What does that mean? Does anybody have it? Everybody That's else? It's probably your battery. It's getting so hot. That's the other what night, with it my... was burning hot. I ripped off the back case. I started blowing on it to cool it down. And then I went and set it on the marble so it would cool down. And now, after a few minutes, if I talk on it very long, it heats up. Yeah. I was wondering if it's because of the case on the back that protects it. Something, something's wrong with the battery. That's why it's heating up like so that. I had to order a new one because I would, if I didn't have my cell phone, because yeah. I live on it, with, I, I read everything. I have, I have seven newspapers that I read on there. <laughs> I read everything for the podcast on there. I follow all the social media on there. I do all my emails on there. I wrote, if you remember, I wrote that book, Red Carpets and Black Lies, that we still what? have for you if anybody yeah. wants to order. I wrote that on my Blackberry. And that's why my thumbs have been sore ever since. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. So, oh, so another tweet that I saw that I liked. You need five hobbies in life. Okay. This is a good one. One to make money. Two, to, one to keep you in shape. Three, one to keep you creative. Four, one to build knowledge. Five, one to evolve your mindset. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yep. Okay. I agree with that. That's good. Now, good do, do we do all of these? Do we Most make money, stay in shape, be creative, get more knowledgeable and evolve? Mm. Some of them maybe cross over. I think most of, of us do that in this group. On the other hand, go um, go look at some of those rallies and some of those PTA meetings and you see those people are not evolving their mindset. They don't have a lot of knowledge. They're not in shape. I mean, I could go with the list. Uh, well, another tweet. Vaccine mandates are making teachers who don't believe in science resign. Nurses who don't believe in medicine quit and police who don't believe in public safety leave. <laughs> so please no more vaccine mandates. <laughs> so let them all go. <laughs> oh my God. So that's funny. So then Lisa Murkowski tweets out, Alaskans know that access to care, this is about the abortion law in Texas. Alaskans know that access to care as one of the most difficult moments in a woman's life, and we should be standing with them, not 
pitting neighbors against them. I, for one, am with the mar those marching across our country today to say that as a nation, we are better than this. Mm -hmm. So guess what I replied. Mm -hmm. Have you had any second thoughts about that vote for Kavanaugh <laughs> and Amy Comey Barrett? Have you had any second thoughts about that? You knew the Federalist Society put them on there and that's yeah. what they were gonna do and you voted for them. So don't come trying to redeem yourself now and show everybody how compassionate you are. You are the person, one of the main people responsible, you and Susan Collins primarily, that people would count on to have enough common sense to not touch Roe versus Wade, but yet you go put people on the court that you know that's exactly what they plan to do. Yep. And then you come out with, I'm with the women on the street, it's a personal thing. Really? Well, why do you think about that before you cast that vote? I'm so tired of these people. I mean, you can't trust these Republicans. I've, I hate to say it. I used to have so many Republican friends, but they've all gone off the deep end. They don't believe in science. They don't believe in climate change. They don't believe in COVID. They don't believe in the vaccine. They don't believe in the mask. You know, they believe Donald Trump, who is a pathological known liar. They, the last count, there were 3,000 lies in the New York Times listed out. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. They, people are crazy. So, and celebrity news. What was I going to say about that? Ellen Pompeo says that years back, she got in a big fight with Denzel Washington on her show. <laughs> and they're making the biggest deal out of it. Uh -huh. Now, it's her show. He comes on to direct it. They get in a spat. And that's the story. What do you think everybody's turning it into? This white woman didn't want to have this black man telling her what to do. Oh, my God. Do we have to tie everything, everything. to women, <laughs> men, black Green. I mean, come on. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. I was just like, I can't take it anymore. <sighs> Everyone's, we're getting some questions. They're wanting to know what your take is with the whole Erica Girardi thing right now. But, but I don't know how, if you have that in your stack well, today or what. No, I, I wouldn't. I always hadn't gotten to the housewives, but well, let's just do the housewives right now. Let's start with her. Okay. So, what I think is that people are piling on, and I don't like a pile on. I don't like the fact that this lawyer is piling on Twitter and social media to try to bring her down when he should be handling that in the courtroom. Right. I don't think it's been proven that she knew where the money came from or that he was a dishonest loser. I don't think any of that's been proven. So I don't think until it's proven, I think you have to give her the benefit of the doubt. If it turns out that she knowingly knew all of this and took all the money, that's another story. I just can't imagine that this man who was able to fool all the law partners and all the accountants and all the city of Los Angeles and the Chamber of Commerce and the law, uh, the big law oh, things that they go to, the Academy of Lawyers and the bar and the Cal California bar. If he was able to fool all them, what makes you think he can't fool her? Mm -hmm. I mean, she's not like a, a lawyer or an accountant. So, and, and also think of all the people in the world that he would try to hide it from above everyone else would be her. And then they're saying, well, they gave her $20 million. Well, that's a lot of money, but over 24 years of marriage, it is a lot of money. But if the man's making hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars, and he gives his wife a million dollars or 800,000 a year to keep her happy, <clears throat> That's not out of the ordinary either. I know women that spend 40,000 a month on their credit card at Saks and Neiman's, and that's 400,000. And then she had the Glam Squad. And then he launched to pay for her career to build her career. I don't think she hid any of that money. I think she spent it all. Yeah. So it's not like that they were hiding the money. So I just think people should lay off her till the facts come out and give her the benefit of the doubt and don't pile on. Even if it turns out that maybe she knew more than she's admitted that she knew, she didn't do it. Mm -hmm. He did it, mm -hmm. you know, and she benefited from it. But don't confuse her benefiting from the money for the victims not getting the money. Mm -hmm. That was their, the law firm's responsibility, his responsibility, the court's responsibility to make sure that money went where it went, was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. It wasn't her responsibility to, oh, here, honey, we had a really good year. I want to give you $500,000. Well, let me see the books. Yeah. I want to see where that money came from. 
Where'd that come from? Yeah. What what case did you win? Let me read the files on the case. Oh, the files are like the size of this room. Well, then I need to read the files before I can put that $500,000 in my bank. I don't think so. Exactly. And that's what I think it was Kyle or one of them said on the show last week that when they were talking about the situation yeah. and, and Kathy Hilton said, I don't, I think the money's gone. That's what she oh, said. I think it's gone. But she said in the whole situation too, that, that it was just exactly what you said. You know, I mean, it was I, like. I, I, everyone wants, you know, when somebody something goes wrong, everyone wants someone to pay, to for, pay it. for it. You know, they want someone to be at fault. And there should be someone at fault. It should be the California bar. It should be his law firm. Mm -hmm. It should be his accountant. It should be all of those people all are also culpable. Yeah. And now, if she spent the money, what's she supposed to do to pay it back? She's not gonna be able to pay back millions of dollars. Well, you know, and she didn't do anything criminal by accepting the money. It's not against right. the law to accept the money unless you think it's from stolen goods. Right. Why would she think it was from stolen goods? Yeah. I don't know. That It bugs me that people T are piling T on. T. Hamilton says, respectfully, some people knew and aided Tom, which is how he was able to get away with this massive fraud. And hopefully they will be held accountable as well. Looking Lara Griffin and CFO at GK is what he said. So, so he's saying yeah, that yeah. the, the, the chief gone. financial officer knew. <laughs> yeah. And well, that's probably true. Yeah. And that's what, like I was saying, Kyle said, too, he was not that type of guy that would go home and say, oh, guess what I did today? I won this, uh, you know, I oh, won but this. He also was never the type the of time. guy to go and say, oh, I'm defrauding people and yeah. I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. He had those two planes. He was all show and tell, yeah. you know, but he was a really brilliant lawyer at one time. He won a lot of big cases. The yeah. problem is there are some people that are just prone to corruption and greed. Yeah. And obviously he was one of them. And, and, you, and this woman's right too, that a lot of people that knew if they did know and they had any inkling of it, you know, they could have stood up at the time, yeah. you know, but they didn't. And then they could, be, but it's not, it's not their responsibility to be the police of people's money either, but you just can't hang it all on her. No. I, I just don't think that's fair. I agree. Meanwhile, Ramona's dog died. Did you see that? Oh, I did see it yesterday. The they said it yesterday. Yeah, her dog died. Poor thing. That dog had it. Oh, you think that dog was like 12 years? I think they said it was 10 or 10, 10 years old. It was really like cute. Yeah. I mean, that's heartbreaking. And Nini's selling her Georgia house for $4 yeah. million, 10,000 square feet. I saw that's that. kind of heartbreaking. You know, I think she's just, she's like, I don't have this bit. What would you do in a 10,000 square foot house by yourself? Yeah. Your son's not there. Your husband is dead. You want to start over. You're trying to just like deal with it all. I don't blame her for selling it. Right. And then last week we watched Beverly Hills, but I couldn't tell you what happened. Do you remember what happened? I don't remember what well, happened. Well, Erica was kind of making nice with Sutton oh, that's again. Right. And they had like, um, they had a dinner, another dinner. She was in a good mood. Erica yeah. was in a really good mood. They went out on a boat. And they went on the boat. That's yeah. right. And then one of them was crying. Who was yeah. crying on that boat? And someone was consoling them. I don't remember. Oh my God. I think tonight's the finale, and then next. Week, oh, it is. Tonight's the finale, and next. Oh week's my God! The I reunion. forgot it's on tonight. You have the to reunion uh, thing came out today. So. You know what? If you don't remind me, I never remember to watch it, and that's the only one I still watch. I and I, I want to stay connected to the franchise in some way, so I like to watch that one. I just forget it's on, but then once I watch it, and then um, apparently that lawyer that's trolling Erica. Yeah. On. Uh, online is taking footage from the show and taking it out of context and gonna to try to use it against her. Yeah. You know, I don't like him. He and I got in a big Twitter spat yeah, I know because I don't think it's right what he's doing. Yeah. So did you wanna take a break? Kenya also Go ahead. Go ahead, Kenya. won Go. on the Dancing with the Stars. Oh, she she made it through this week. So How many weeks it was did down to have? her and one other person. I mean, it, she was in the bottom two, I guess, and they saved her and uh, her guy. And they how many, uh, I think how, it's been four weeks, four, four or five weeks now. How many do they now. have, 10 or? 10 or 30 13, something like that when they first start out. Well, so she's, you know, she's making her way through. I will tell you, I saw <laughs> the clip yeah. of her dancing and, you know, I was a professional dancer, yeah. so I know how to critique it. She's a showgirl yeah. and she puts on this show. Her precision is not exact. She's a little awkward. It's not like a comfortable, natural thing she does, but she pulls it off. Yeah. And I'm rooting for her. I hope she does well. I was rooting for all of them. Yeah. Lisa Ren is a little more of a natural dancer. Uh -huh. you know? Vanderpump, remember, she went on there and fainted. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, I like henna on there. She had on that big, that real yellow thing. I just saw the clip from somebody posted. I don't, I don't watch Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. but she was good on there. And Ramona's dog was seventeen. They're telling us. Right? Oh, so seventeen. It was really. It was a lot older than we thought. Baby, was. you're only six. She got another eleven years <laughs> to irritate Jeff. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna take our little commercial break, All and we'll right. be right back. And we're back. Okay, let's move on. Um, John Stewart's returning to TV. How about that? Uh -huh, I saw that. Yeah, that's going to be good. I love him. It's his first project after being on The Daily Show for 16 years. Mm -hmm. The good news, Britney Spears' dad's kicked off the conservatorship. Yep. She sent out the sweetest little message to her uh, followers. She said, I have the best fans in the world. If, if it weren't for you, I, I wouldn't have been able to get this done. And she said she cried for two hours. God bless her. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It's I love hard. that the judge said, this has been a toxic situation. <laughs> that's really? That's so funny because that's one of her really? songs. And who's <laughs> responsible for that, Judge? Yeah. Who's responsible for that? The judge's fingerprints are all over oh, this thing. I couldn't believe oh, it. Oh, it's just like, let me get the, wait, excuse me, where is it? Hold on. Oh, you know, this has been a very toxic thing. <laughs> <laughs> Looking in the mirror. Uh, meanwhile, um, so texting and drive, texting while driving increases the chances of a crash or a near crash 23 times. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I can't breathe. That's, that's why Leah needs AirPods. <laughs> yeah, Danielle, I don't, I don't, I, I don't text when I drive, but I do to put the speaker <clears throat> phone on and talk on the phone. Daniel Craig uh, is going to get a star. You know, he did the yeah. Bond movie. Is his last Coming one. Out this week. He's going to get a star next on the Hollywood Walk of Fame next to Roger Moore. You know, Roger mm. Moore was a classy dude, wasn't he? Yep. I don't think it Daniel a... uh, Craig has has the class that Pierce Brosnan or Roger Moore had. Oh, I love it. But he him. has the grit. You I know, I love it. I think he's been the best Bond ever. Oh no, he's been a great Bond. I In fact, him. he may be in a better Bond because yeah. he has the grit. It's more believable. Yeah. The other two were more pretty faces. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. No, they were. Yeah. And it, also they make movies different now than they used to. That's so true, you have too. to kind of look at it from that perspective. But they're all but good. That movie made over $100 million internationally, $110 million this weekend. So, and, and it's not even open it in the U.S. Yeah, they've tied it up. His farewell song. It's, this is fa farewell, yeah. Well, you know, maybe it's sometimes better to leave them wanting more, leave right. on top. Right. That's what I always say. Well, Kanye <laughs> Sorry, was. Sorry, T. Hamilton. We t we, we know you're a guy, not a girl. Who? On here, I think we uh, T. Hamilton came up and you said she, and I was oh, I'm a guy. Sorry, he. Uh, sorry, he. He, oh, my she, God. now. Don't they, get that mixed up. Get that all messed he, up. she, them, us, <laughs> and they. Are, are we're in trouble. Back. So, you know, I didn't know this. I read this. Remember when Kanye West went on, uh, at, when he went on the stage, when Taylor won her first Grammy and he grabbed the microphone and started bragging on Beyonce and how she should have won. Oh, yeah. That Apparently, was... I didn't see this. I wish I could have. He went on uh, David Letterman, I think it was Letterman, uh -huh. that night or what, soon thereafter. Yeah, he did. I and started crying. So I thought, oh, my God, he was uh, Leno. He went on Leno and he was crying about what happened. I'm like, well, he probably felt horrible what he did. He goes on to say that he was crying not in regret, no. but because Beyonce lost. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy who's running for president. Yeah, he's this is scary. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking he cried. Oh, finally he got what he did to that poor girl, her very first Grammy. No, he was crying because Beyonce lost. And yeah. he was right to grab the microphone and tell everybody who should have won. He ran up on stage and did make oh, a Oh, that was so cringy. <laughs> I saw, I happen to be, I don't even watch those shows 90% of the time. I happen to be watching that one and I it, it stuck with me. Yeah. Uh, so the Hollywood and production workers are on strike for the first time in 128 years. Oh, really? I wonder why they're on strike. Well, that's going to hold everything up. Well, you know, after COVID, they're just now getting back to work, and now, now they're, they're going to strike. strike. And that's what I was thinking, because, I mean, that would have to be a, as big as a writer's strike, I would think. I know. That's good. Well, in L.A., that's everything. Yeah. I mean, the, so, the production, the production team, team is L.A. to shut the whole industry down. Yeah. Meanwhile, you know, I wouldn't strike. I'd just go to work and say, you know what? You don't value my worth. I'm going to go find another gig later, but I'm not going to strike. I gave you my word I'd show up. You, we agree to what you're paying me. It's not fair. It's one-sided. I'll do my job, but I'm planning on leaving. Yep. But anyway, so you, did you see that uh, William Shatner, you know, the Star Trek guy? 90 years old. 
He's going on space on October the 12th. What happened? Oh, when you say something. He's going on that space trip. They're going to go out of Texas, West Texas, on October the 12th. I he's, mean, he's I guess 90. He's, gonna, he's 90. He's, 90. Yeah. he's going to be the oldest person to go to space. I mean, I guess if but, you love yeah. that, it's probably a perfect thing for him. It's a great publicity and PR. I mean, he should be the face of the whole thing. I think it's great. I mean, I wouldn't do it. You could pay me. I wouldn't do it. I would never. Do, I can't. I'm nervous getting on an airplane. Yeah. But for somebody like that, that has a fascination with space and he had that whole that career, to go on it, it must be like something really, it must be just like fabulous for him. Well, I mean, you him. know, he kind of like was the world space captain. If you think That's about right. like all the movies and the TV show yeah. and all the stuff like he that. He was so, a big deal. So it kind of makes sense. I thought it was kind of cool because I think that they had him on the Today Show like a few weeks back for something. He wrote a book or was something. Yeah, he wrote a book. And then when they were also doing, it was around the time that the first launch was going yeah. off. And and they said, Would you, wouldn't you would you like to do that? He says, oh my God. He said, I'd love to do it. If you're listening, Jeff, let me uh, he says, I'd love to do it. And now here it is four weeks later and he's going to be doing it. So that, Jeff called him and said, you know, you do should it. be doing it. Do you know so. who did, uh, who wanted, went to the state, went to study for weeks in Houston to be able to be, able to be an, not an astronaut, but a passenger astronaut? Oh, it Lance, was Lance Bass. Bass from the NSYNC. Lance I remember Bass, when they signed yeah. up. Him and Justin both yeah. signed it up at the same I time, know. I think, to go to. And uh, so Lance is having a, twins. He and yeah, Michael he are and having him. twins. We sent him a beautiful little twin set. <laughs> Jason. I saw their, uh, their shower on uh, Instagram. Oh, right? yeah, they That's had cool. a big shower. Yeah. Of course, I wasn't in town, but I did send her lovely gifts. So now you'll love this. You know the Bell Harbor uh, high rise with the with the meth lab in it. <laughs> Three floors. They had evacuated. They had a meth lab in there. Yeah, and it was it was like like it wasn't like a low end high rise either. Is that the Bell Harbor one? That's the old Bell Harbor one, or is that the new one that it's, they built? It's the newer one. I think that they have built. It's yeah. the Bell. The newer it, one? Yeah. So ima imagine that blew up. Yeah, because I know somebody that lives in that building. Do you? And I went there for a meeting once and to meet with her and her husband and, uh, and when they were showing that on the when they were showing it on this on the TV the other and I was like that looks like the same building that you know my friends lived in I couldn't believe there's it. There's one that everybody old Miami yes. people like you know the guys that started Southern Wine and the Cindy Cars and all those people that all the old yeah. glamorous you know socialite Miami people a lot of them uh, what was her name that that died that was so fabulous the German woman that loved uh, she thought Joanna was so gorgeous and she. Uh, Claudine Smurfett, oh. all that whole crowd lived there. And I didn't know if it was that building or there's a new building. It's a newer one. And Jeffrey Rackover bought a condo yes. and re refurbished, or he gutted it and fixed it fabulous. I haven't seen it. And he's the big diamond jeweler to the stars. Mm -hmm. He's in that new building. So I didn't know which building it was in, but I know people in both. And I'm just sitting there going, if I'm paying, the kind of money for that building and that maintenance, and I find out some little trashy person is in there mixing up their meth, the whole building could have blown up. Have, they, have you seen, did you watch Breaking Bad when they're in the trailer and the thing exploded? The whole trailer went all over the whole desert. You could kill like five floors of people. Yes, but Miriam, Whatever. Jason, you know, that's who it was. Miriam, she lives in there. Miriam, I'm trying to think which one she was. She uh, she has a she has a, a very luxurious caftan line called Opulence oh, yeah, by yeah, Miriam. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she lives in that building, and I had gone there to, to speak to them one time, and that and that's I mean, what and I they thought. have that big restaurant downstairs, yeah. and it's right next to Bell Harbor. I mean, what in the hell are these people thinking? If you want to get your meth, you know, go out in the desert somewhere and do it. And if you blow yourself up, you blow yourself up. But you don't go in, in a luxury high rise building in yeah, Florida. Crazy. Florida's crazy. Well, and the other thing too is, is like I can't believe. They, someone didn't report the smell because when they make that stuff, the smell is like it's you, you know, they you probably know thought it, they were painting it. or renovating or something. Yeah, it's like it smells like chemical fumes. That's exactly yeah, they what probably thought like. they were renovating or oh my god, I just can't. You know, this is just Florida. Meanwhile, there were 14,334 deaths this summer, just this summer in Florida. 92% of Democrats have at least one dose, meaning they're going to get the two, and only 56% of Republicans. So that means that all of this spread 
and denial is coming from the Republicans. Did you see Lindsey Graham up there saying when he did his little speech, well, I got the vaccine. I mean, you should get it. And, and they all start booing him. No, no, we're not getting it. He made the bed. Now he's got a lie in it. Yeah. He's South Carolina or North Carolina, whichever, South. and South. And his... Uh, and his state is one of the worst, and they're dropping dead, and there's no ICU bed left, and yep. they're having to send people out of state. And so he got behind Trump and coddled him, and now he's going to go tell his people to go get the vaccine. And now they're like, boo, they did boo. that to They did that to Trump, too, yeah, when Trump he came out. They created these little but then, monsters. But then, like, Biden came out the other day at the at the raceway and said something, and then they booed him at the at the thing. So you can't, like, win for losing either yeah, side. It, it, it's, the, it's that segment of the population that doesn't believe in science. Yep. It's that woman that oh, I won't give her the credit. Her name I can't even stand her. She went on the on the House of Representatives floor and said there is no climate man-made climate change. The people have we have no control over the climate. God has control over the climate. Mm -hmm. The same one that says you know God decides if you get pregnant or not, and He decides. You know they're just all out there. I can't. Anyway, and then then Alaska has the highest case per capita of any state in the yeah. country. Now, who runs Alaska? Republican governor, yep. a Republican senator, Republican, all of it. Okay? That's same in South Carolina. I can't. Same in Idaho. And, and, and it's mostly white, uneducated men. Five men to one in, in Alaska. That's the ratio. So. Oh, and that's all they so are. There you Macho go. men are up there, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't want anyone to get sick, but sometimes I'm like, you know, maybe they just got sick, really, really sick for two weeks and then came out the other side and then went out and told everybody, you know, made a mistake, get the vaccine. Maybe it might be worth it yeah. because there are no consequences. But there are people that have come out. Oh, and there are. And they have done it. And there it's are. still not. Still anything. not doing enough, yeah. but it, but it but everyone that does it, it helps somebody. Yeah. You have to think at least some people in their immediate family, or at right. least some of their close friends. You know, so 95.5 percent of United Airlines workers are vaccinated. So out of the entire, I forget, 67,000 employees or something, or I forget how many. I don't want to say that number is not right. Only 320 left out of all of United Airlines. Yeah. Goodbye, bye bye. We don't care. And uh, New Mexico had two more ivermectin deaths. And you know what? They go to the hospital and they want a bed. And then their friends are out yelling and screaming that you won't do anything to give them the ivermectin. Or if they're dying from it, you can't save them from it. You know what I say? If they take the ivermectin, go to the vet. Mm -hmm. That's where you got it. <laughs> go to the vet. Don't go to the hospital. Go to the vet. Go down to where they, they get the worms out of the horses and go there. I don't think you have the right to go in a hospital and demand anything if you're stupid enough to take a heartworm prop. Uh, oh, my God, I can't with these people. Uh, Alabama is also among the hardest hit states. They have uh, 15,000 deaths in Alabama. And then guess what the governor just signed into law? They're going to allow the state to use the COVID relief funds. Guess what they're going to build with the COVID relief funds in the state of Alabama? More prisons. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Why don't they build a mock tower for the homeless and tell everybody to get a shot? I just can't. I don't think you should be able to misdirect the funds like that. If we're no. federal government is giving you money to, to to do things to relieve COVID, you don't go build prisons with it. And I guarantee you that prisons are going to be privately owned and people are going to be making money off of them. And judges are going to be putting people in there because their friends are making money or they're getting a donations and getting elected or whatever it is. We're over 700,000 deaths now. Portugal's 85% vaccinated. Well, isn't that smart? We may have to go there. I don't know. So I guess you guys all followed the Facebook. Uh, the outage. No, not just that. The whole thing. The whistleblower, yeah. the outage, all of it. Yeah. So do you think it's coincidental that the whistleblower goes on 60 minutes Sunday night and then Monday it, it goes out for six hours? Well, it was, it was very... Uh, it was very coincidental. Well, I hate to say it, but the first thing that came to my mind is they're destroying evidence. Yeah. I mean, maybe it could be a marriage to a lawyer, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Meanwhile, Zuckerberg has the nerve to go out oh, he posted on his yacht uh, with sailing with his family during the hearings. He and posted this whole thing last night on, on I Instagram. I saw it. It was like a freaking essay. It yeah. wasn't, somebody, people were saying, yeah. it's too long. Can someone give me like the five yeah. minute version? <laughs> I saw it. And you know what? And, he, and he's, he's, you know what he's doing? He's acting like Trump. Yeah. He's acting like, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to double down. Oh, do yeah. you know what I That's think? Exactly. They're I doubling think Trump down. is in his ear. I'm going to get back in office. You're going to help me. Quid pro quo. 
Just write it out. Just write it out. Yeah. That's what Trump's doing. I'm going to get back in. You help me get in office. You keep using your platform to just drum up all this chaos and get all this stuff going and get me back in office like you did before. And then, you know, you'll be rewarded. And he's just not going to back down. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to legislate it. But the only way it's going to have any teeth is if it becomes criminal. Yeah. If they allow it just to be civil. He lost $7 billion in one afternoon. It'd be like me losing $5. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Can't believe people. Pete Hamilton <laughs> says that the uh, United Arab Emirates is 95% uh, vaccinated right now. Oh. And he said that Facebook is definitely hiding evidence. <laughs> so let me tell you what, what that think? was this morning. I mean, I read up a little bit more That's on it. So they did like an upload to their network servers and it had some kind of a coding error in it that disconnected it from all the platforms around the world. And it, lo it loaded up to every single one of the platforms. So that's why it was down like that. And it took them a while. So why so, would they do so that? They were completely, they were locked out up for like three hours, two to three hours from what I understand. People yeah, they were just like the standing around the, the office too. and everything. And yeah. that was another thing yeah. that adds to the suspicion. Yeah. So it was a They're little strange. They're locking you out of the the building. were locked out for two hours, it said. What just were they standing around. doing during that two hours? I read that. Now, this is my prediction. That one whistleblower came out, yeah. and there are going to be more to follow. Yeah. There are going to be a lot of people now that are going to know that they've got, they've got you know blood on their hands. Mm -hmm. They're going to be questioned, and they'd rather just come out and be part of, like, oh, I wasn't going along with that either. Yeah. You know, I didn't agree with it either, than get subpoenaed and then be, be looking down the end of uh, whatever their culpability was. They're cleaning their servers. That's what he, he yeah, yeah, Hamilton just said. That's exactly right. That's exactly what they're doing. That's probably what they did. They were bleaching it out. Thank God she had all the, um, what do you call it? She had, she all, had all the, the documents. Out. You know what? I can guarantee you too. I bet if you put that Zuckerberg under oath and ask him what communications have you had with Trump directly or indirectly, his team directly or indirectly, incentives to help him stay, get back in power and all that, he'd either lie uh -huh. or he, he'd go to jail for sedition. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, okay, so there's the next one. Um, did you know, it's a, an Uber fact says that rich women tend to binge drink and have more alcohol related problems than poor women. On the other hand, it's opposite with men. So I guess poor men drink, get drunk more than rich men. I thought that was kind of interesting. Mm. Kind of makes sense. I guess you're a poor guy. You have nothing to lose if you're a rich bitch. Why not? <laughs> uh, the, Texas Kentucky, uh, the, the Texas chicken fried chicken restaurant last week, there was a robbery. This, armed, this two armed men went in. One of them got away with it, and one got shot. So a customer, vigilante, had a gun on him. He took the damn thing guy down. <laughs> Don't go into getting chicken restaurants in Texas. Can you imagine you're in, you go into a restaurant and there's governor robbing you and this guy in the back of the line, I'm gonna have two chicken. Oh, excuse me. Pulls out his gun. <laughs> Probably had it on a holster. Oh my God. Well, that is the one time a good guy with a gun prevailed. But it's not worth that risk. And then no. you gotta, I mean, I'm gonna get I can't help it. I have to read Stephanie Grisham, Grisham, Grisham's book. I just can't help it. But she says in her book that while Bill Crosby was in prison and Harvey Weinstein was being prosecuted and uh, Matt Lauer was being fired, that serial harasser Donald Trump was demanding that a junior staffer be paraded in front of him because he, he was obsessed with her ass and no one said a thing. <laughs> Don't you think that's funny? I, I, I mean, saw this week uh, that um, he's going to be depositioned on that uh, on that case with the girl from he's the not, he's apprentice. He's not gonna go. He'll, he'll drag it out in court. He'll fight the deposition, something. I hope they hold him in criminal content and lock yeah. his ass up. I hope they have the size triple X um, <laughs> Jump suit. jumpsuits, orange ones. <sighs> well, another thing, the San Antonio man, Texas is getting as crazy as Florida. It's all Republican ran. 40 year old guy, put on Facebook that he had paid someone with COVID to go into this grocery store and lick all the groceries. So that guy, remember that we talked about a while back? Well, he got uh, sent to jail. Yeah. He got sent to jail on April the 5th. And no, that happened on April 5th. He recently got sent to jail. Uh. Then did you see the skateboarder skating through uh, and throwing the paint on um, George, Floyd. George Floyd's face? Yeah, I saw that. They've caught him. They, they busted him. Good. Yep. They Good. busted him. And then a DEA agent was got killed during a drug bust on an Amtrak. One suspect is dead and one's in custody. How 
now you can't fly because you're going to go. You can't live in a high rise because it's either going to sink or they're going to blow it up. You can't go on Amtrak because they're going to DEA agents are going to bust people and those shots are going to be flying. What in the hell can you do anymore? Yeah. I don't know. Droughts in Los Angeles in the last two years were 13 percent of all. Did you know that 13 percent of all the food in all of the country comes from California? And the droughts in the last two years are going to cost us, if they can't find a solution, $47 trillion worth of food mm -hmm. over the next few years. Mm -hmm. How are we going to get rid of the droughts without cooling down the climate? How are we going to cool down the climate when 30% of the country and 50% of the elected officials don't believe in science? I don't see any way out of it. The only way out of it is not to have any Republicans in Congress because we have to get climate change in implemented. We've got to get the guns under control and we've got to get COVID under control. That's not going to happen with these people. They don't even want to pay the bills they ran up the last eight years. No. What they're trying to do is trying to make it look like the Democrats can't run the government and they're big spenders and that they can't pay their bills. Well, this isn't their bills. These are bills over the last four years. That's what always ceiling. happens, though. And twice under the Trump administration, the Democrats voted to raise the debt ceiling. It's just an arbitrary thing. And the Demo they're turning it into a political thing, just like they did the mask, just like they did COVID. I mean, if, if they would look at history, I mean, Clinton left a surplus. He actually got rid of the deficit balanced and the balanced budget the budget and, and, left and everything and left a surplus. And then the Bushes came in office and exactly. started running up the- The two that have ran up the deficit more than anybody yeah. else are Bush, yeah. the war, and Trump. And Trump. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Liz Cheney uh, came out, I, I think we talked about last week, in support of lesbian and gay rights. And um, now, because of that, she's, her family, you know, this came out, this happened a long time ago. Now her family rallied behind her once she came out behind it. Now they're rallying behind her because of uh, her stand against the insurrection. But now these crazy Republicans that were trying to tear her down because of the insurrection committee she's on, mm -hmm. are now also using this to try to get her not to be reelected. Yep. So they're, what does that tell you about these people? They don't want anybody to have any rights. I mean, how do you, how do you like hold that against someone in 2021? Mm -hmm. I mean, didn't we, didn't we kind of like litigate that like the, like 10 years ago? I don't know. These people want to go backwards. They just want to go backwards. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say anymore. Just, oh, did, I, did you see that alligator being swooped up, or did I talk to you about that? <laughs> yeah, they've written yeah. a song about it now. Oh, they do? Oh Somebody my God, wrote a right. rap song about it, and now it's like in the top 100 or whatever, but it's a, called the Florida Alligator Guy or something like that. Oh, you know what? I found out. I have something in, in, in common with the koala bears. Do what? you know? They sleep 22 hours a day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would be very happy sleeping 22 hours a day. I love to sleep. So anyway, so United, okay, we did that one already. What else are we, are we doing? Oh, we still have a little are, bit more time. Oh, like Omarosa won her lawsuit. She won her lawsuit. Did you know that? The mm -hmm. DNA, the NDA lawsuit that where Trump said she couldn't uh, yeah. you know, disclose stuff, she won it. So that's yeah. going to be a whole... New book. Well, not only that, but the floodgates are going to open with people that have been keeping their mouth shut because of their NDA. They're not... You can't do it. No. The law is out of control in Hawaii still, still. And uh, the massive fire in Honduras is still out of control and people don't believe in climate change. I don't know what else to tell you. All right, well, we're gonna have to wrap up. Do we have any specials or anything? Yes, we have our fall event going on right now and the oh, Sudden Youth fall. Mask is on sale this week through Sunday. Um, it's uh, $79.99, normally $125. And then we've got 25% off with the fall event code on leahblack.com on Yay! single items. <laughs> all right, my friends. So have fun. Do you like all my Dan Deutsch glasses? Yes, these look good. I just think good. they're so good. fabulous. Oh. These are hard to keep clean. I got to clean them. All right, we'll see you guys next week. Listen, send us some gossip to report on. Okay? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Glutathione is a big word. It's the body's own master antioxidant. It's a scavenger for free radical, 
bacteria, and viruses. There are no products in the market with the ingredient NASA. NASA increases the production of glutathione that's in our body already to strengthen and enhance our immune system, elevate sense of well-being, support muscle strength and endurance, cognitive function, and liver support. It helps with increased energy and blood sugar regulation. Get your bottle of GSH Plus from www.SalvationNutra.com.